We have a question from Stephen. Unfortunately, due to COVID, the, on, the only 24 kettlebell I could get my hands on when I started was one with a very wide handle. And he says 10 inches, which really does seem like a pretty wide handle for a kettlebell. I was happy to soldier on with it, even when it brushes my legs during kettlebell swings, or I have to make a wider stance than the one that feels optimal. Logically, it doesn't seem to be an issue uh, to have a wider stance when double kettlebell exercises are a thing. However, I'm looking forward uh, to doing a challenge in the next few weeks, maybe 300 swings a day or maybe the 10,000 swing challenge. My question. Uh, do you think I caused myself any issues with such high reps with a slightly wider stance? Um, well, I mean, if it's a real hassle, you could just turn the handle and then hold it like a fire hose. I would uh, uh, I would go opposite uh, on sets. I mean, if it's really, I mean, I know what ten inches is, I, but I don't, I don't, I just can't see it being that huge of a difference. But since you did already mention it, it is already sliding in. Uh, I don't think having a wider stance in, in the hinge is that big a deal. I worry less about where the feet are than I do. I, I worry most about where the knees, what the knees are doing. Excessive knee work is uh, uh, can be a problem in kettlebell swings. You know, and I talk about that a lot, that squatty hinge thing. But um, if I mean, give it a go. And if you do feel anything like anything like the adductors or anything are starting to bark at you, then, you know, really uh, uh, go to plan B. Uh, another uh, another thing you could do is uh, we do this at the certs is you, uh, take a towel. So and then you, you would insert it. So you would take a towel and then you would put it inside and hold it. Uh, the only problem is if you have any uh, uh, if you don't have a crisp uh snap and pull, you know, hinge plank, hinge plank. If it's not crisp, uh, it will swing up and hit you in, in the butt, which you'll survive. Okay. So there's a couple ideas. You could do the fire hose technique. You could do the towels close, you know, the towel around the handle and hold it close like this. Uh, or you can just try the wider leg and hope for the best. Those are three options. And I think, uh, I think you need to experiment with all of them first. Okay. And then, uh, uh, I'd love to see the video, if you don't mind, uh, with the wider thing, just to see if maybe it's something, uh, 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 there's an even simpler solution. Okay, thank you.